AITA forgive my mom an ultimatum and following through? This is a long one. So I apologize in advance. I'm also going to change some names in case people know the situation. Background. My parents have been off and on for years. Get together. Break up. Wash. Rinse and repeat. During those breaks my dad has always had another woman. During one of those time. He was with, Kate. Kate brought a daughter into the relationship from a previous marriage. Sophia, was a young teen when dad and Kate got together. Soon after their relationship began. Sophia, at 14 fifteenths of a year old. Fell pregnant and had a child. No one knew who that dad was. Six months after the child was born. My half-brother, Derek. Older than me and no blood relation to Kate and her daughter. Moved to live with dad and Kate. Sophia and Derek hit it off. They've been together ever since 20 plus years. Time passed and dad and Kate separated. Dad is back with mom a few more times. With a few more women in between. It's been roughly 24 years. Sophia and Derek have had a son together. The child has a child of her own. Beautiful I might add. They all decided to do DNA heritage testing for fun. The child and Derek are related. Half siblings. You can see where this is going. The child is Derek and my half sibling. Holy crap Batman. The only way that could be is she's our dad's kid. Sophia was a 14 fifteenths of a year old at conception. Fuck. Dad committed a felony. Welp I'm done with him. I don't want my husband and kids around him. My mom knows the results. Knows what it means. I asked her if she was going to stay with him knowing what this meant. She said, as of now yes. Until the courts decide what they are going to do. I need to talk to Sophia and Derek about this. Like what? The offspring is the evidence and proof of his slimy behavior. What more can the courts or Sophia and Derek tell you? Sophia did tell her mom who the dad was as she knew. Her mom either didn't believe her or didn't care and led everyone to believe she was a liar. I told her that either she stay and support a predator and lose her daughter and her family or leave. I hated to give her that ultimatum. But I could in my own moral ethics respect that kind of woman. So Reddit am I the asshole? Good God this is horrifying. NTA. I'm not usually a fan of ultimatums but this one is dead on. Although her reluctance would make me disgusted enough to just go and see. Her default judgment was to stand by him and that says everything you need to know. How are Derek and Sophia faring through this? Type quickly PLS cuz this is gonna get deleted for sure. NTA I'm disgusted. Also babies generally aren't conceived from one felony. Considering he is a serial dater I would also not be surprised if this was repeat behavior. Unfortunately people with this inclination tend to seek out situations where these things are possible. And sometimes that means targeting single moms. The best I can say is people don't let these kinds of back and forth relationships happen if they are 100% okay. Maybe it is mental health. Maybe it's self-esteem. Maybe tour dad is abusive. I don't know but something is not right with your mom. I am also sad for her that she feels so little of herself that this is her reaction. But for me there would be no ultimatum. I could never be in the room if my family said that. On a side note just go to Sophia and support her. Since Derek is related I imagine she has had your dad in her life. Or closer to her life. Then as fair. Tell her she is incredibly brave and strong. NTA Jesus Christ what did I just read? Where you live is there a statute of limitations for this kind of crime? I hope not. Your dad should be in prison. NTA you have your own children to t-bink of. 
FNTA why would anyone want to be associated with him? I'd say just go. Your mom would have made the choice already since she already knows all the facts. She's still debating it. I doubt it. And I bet she'll continue to be hung up on him for some time. Just go. No. Your bio donor cannot be trusted around kids. He raped and impregnated a vulnerable 14 15 year old. That is beyond disgusting. Not only that but the adults failed her. If she is even remotely functional as an adult I find that impressive NTA. NTA. This man is absolutely disgusting. He had sex with a minor. That's is so messed up. Your mom is sort of enabling his behavior. Cut anyone involved in this mess out of your life. NTA. In no world are you the asshole. I'm so sorry for what Sophia went through. NTA. Your mother's mind has been warped by decades of this horrible relationship. I'm quite sure he has told her that it's a mistake. The test is wrong. The test is lying. They're lying. Etc. And she believes it BC she wants to and it's easier. She'll likely be sitting there when the judge sentences him. Still claiming that they got it all wrong. Because that's what he says. NTA. A million times over NTA. No way in hell I would allow a known peyoto around my kids. My own father or not. No matter what excuse he tries to use. She was 14. And could not consent. DNA proved his guilt. Stay far. Far away from him and anyone he is with. NTA. You have kids. Kids who should never be around your father. Period. Cutting him off is non-negotiable. And that means cutting off anyone with him. And not only is she still with him. The nonchalance she is demonstrating calls into question her morals and judgment. You could never trust her with your kids because she might trust him with your kids. You are a parent first. The only part of this story that throws me is how Sophie didn't tell Derek. Especially with how close they are. How she was okay with the DNA test knowing the truth. NTA I believe ultimatums should only be given in situations that compromise is unsuited for. And that you shouldn't give if you won't follow through. There is no compromise that would be acceptable if I were you. Please follow through. NTA it's horrific when anyone stands behind a predator especially a child predator. It's even worse when it's a woman. NTA. You already know what you need to do. You just have those weird stringy emotional things going on. Cut the cords. Honey. I think I'm going to throw up. If you don't completely cut contact with your mom who we now know as a child rape apologist. Then you would be the asshole. This isn't even about which of you is the asshole. It's about what you are doing to condone the heinous, unspeakable reality that has been revealed. I'm sorry to say this. But if your mom stays with your dad she becomes guilty in normalizing and excusing his actions. And fuck Kate. For not believing her daughter. Or not caring and forcing Sophia to continue living with her rapist. 100% NTA. They made this mess. NTA. Good for you for standing strong. If your mother insists on standing by a predator, then she needs to deal with the consequences. I'm so sorry you and your family are going through this. NTA I would not want such a man around me either. Your mother has a choice to make. Whatever she chooses. You need to respect that. But in turn. She needs to realize. That her choice will have consequences as well. And needs to respect you in that. Make sure you follow through with your ultimatum. If you don't. It will be meaningless. Let me add a few points. 
I don't know why it took so long for it to all come out. I was only 9 tenths at the time so way too young to fully understand everything. Also I'm not in everyday contact with my brother and sister-in-law. Whether Derek knew the entire time the truth. I don't know either. And I don't feel comfortable actually asking them all these questions. If they never felt comfortable telling me when I became an adult. Then there's got to be even more going on that I don't actually know emo. NTA. And I hope he rots in jail. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.